Hello everybody, and welcome to my first video in my Iceni campaign. Now it has been requested to do one of the tribal nations, and more specifically, the Iceni nation, and I figured, why not? I've only played as Sparta, and I'm pretty sure that the Iceni are going to play quite differently from the Spartans, so here we go. We're going to play the Iceni. Let's check out their pros and cons. Fierce Independence. Plus 10% melee defense for all units when fighting in own or allied territory. Warrior Society. Plus 1 public order for every war against a neighboring faction. Oh, wow. So that promotes multiple wars. That's... You typically don't want to do. Alright, Children of Andraste. 10% charge bonus for all units when attacking. Okay. Cultured Aspirations. Aspirations. <laughs> Um, moderate diplomatic, diplomatic bonus with all non-barbarian factions. Oh. Okay. That could be... That could be useful. And no quarter. Minus 50% to number of battle captives. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, that's totally fine. Let's do this. Start campaign. Kind of, uh, excited. Because these guys should, like I said, be very different from the Spartans that I've been playing as. Don't think we're going to see many hoplites in the Iceni armies. Your people are warriors, but you seek to live in harmony with your king. The Demeter have chosen to disrupt your peace and bring harm to your people. So Bastards. stopping them must be your first order of business. The Brigantes are also unreliable, and should be dealt with by any means possible. Finally, the Belgic Atribatis leave you little choice but war, after their many attempts to settle your lands. However, you share no bad blood with the Damnoniae, so they may prove valuable allies when you cross the narrow sea. By the will of Andraste, the Iceni will never Damn right the Iceni will never yield. I want to hire this guy. He looks like he knows what he's doing. <laughs> Alright, Ascent to my bold undertakings. Control eight settlements either by direct ownership or through military allies. Okay. Let's dismiss this. Let's look at our objectives here. Make a faction join your confederation. Tribes often join together for mutual protection. The Brigantes started as a confederation of smaller tribes. They became a stumbling block to the Roman invasion of Northern Britannia. That is true. Make five naval units. Alright, so military victory is 110 settlements. That's odd. I figured it'd be about the same, but the Spartans is 140. Raise or sack 50 different settlements? Ah, okay, that's the difference. Wow, raise or sack. That's, that's pretty hardcore. Completely control the following six provinces, okay? What about a economic victory? 60 settlements, sack 30 different settlements, control those. Also, maintain trade relations with 20 factions, hold at least one of every strategic resource. 80,000? Oh. Holy crap. Cultural victory. Construct the following building, the Nementon. Hold at least one settlement in 50 provinces in which your culture is dominant. Huh. Okay. So those are our three choices. Probably will be military. That's what I typically enjoy the most. But I don't know. We'll, we'll see how this, how this goes. Alright, let's close that window. Technology. Um. Sure. Let's just do... Oh. What does this give us? A cattle farm? Yeah, let's start that. Go to diplomacy. Whew, there are so many people around us. What is up with your helmet? What is that? <laughs> oh my god. Same blood. This faction is a close relative to your tribe. They can be asked to join your confederation. The stronger you are and the bigger the threat from foreign cultures, the more likely they will accept doing so. Huh. Yeah, that's totally different. Sparta doesn't have anything like that. Alright, let's talk to them. We have need of talk, I'm sure. Yes, we, we do. We also need good... Yeah, nice. 
Non aggression pact? Joint Confederation? Oh, wait a minute. Is Confederation the um, Iceni way of making them our client state? Their settlements will become yours, as may some of their armies or fleets. A confederation allows factions to join together for the common good, combining military resources to make all members stronger. Upon formation, your target faction ceases to act independently, hmm. and their strongest armies and fleets become confederation property. Well, that's... that's very interesting. Huh. I like that. Alright, they're not up for becoming a defensive ally. Nor a military one. Okay. But we do have a trade agreement. We do have a non-aggression pact. Let's see. Uh, get rid of that. These guys are angry. Oh my god. Uh, let's not talk to them then. The Carnutes. Devious. Well, I can trade you with the Devious welcome, faction. Although my ancestors and people... Wait a minute. No, I cannot. We cannot um, establish trade routes. The frizzy. Greetings, friend. We will speak. Nope. How about you guys? Greetings to you. I... No. Okay. Not much trade going on, and the brigantes are the guys we're supposed to kill. So let's let's get on that, I guess. So we have one town. What would you have of me? A scout. Alright, 10% chance of winning enemy, okay. 2% wealth from culture buildings. 3% morale for all units in the army. Public order from characters. Warriors all! Okay, mercenary spear band. What? I'm starting with hiring or with paying these guys? Um. How good are they? 40 weapon damage. 18 melee attack. They do seem to be better than our levy freemen, but um, almost positive the Spartans are a lot better than that. Especially when it comes to armor. Of course, it's not like we're going to fight any Spartans anytime soon. They're way, way down there. Uh, I guess I'll keep them. We'll get more... Slingers. Okay. Let's do that. And then we will make for the Brigantes settlement, I think. Let's Hail move to our the mother. To work then. Uh yeah. Hail hail to your mother, I guess. <laughs> wow, that is a tiny settlement. Holy crap. The dude barely fits in there. The mother protects travelers. Does she? I could be of further help. Hail to the mother! Ooh, you know what I should do? I should move to the edge of our territory there oh, wow. and then recruit because you can't move when you Your start recruiting. Command? So let's do it this way. There we go. Alright. Our home city of Kalmul... Kalmul... Lodunan. <laughs> Oh, that's terrible pronunciation. Call it Camel for short. Uh, what do our cities do here? Barbarian City. Growth, wealth, spreads culture. Okay, basically the same stuff that Sparta stuff does. We could upgrade that, but I don't really want to. Let's expand the city. And... We probably should make this a military center. 50 wealth from... Indi oh, that's not a military building, is it? No, yeah, it is. Br Britain Skirmishers. But it also gives us money from industry. Huh. Well, that's different. Sure, let's build that. I live to serve the people of Britain. Oh, it's good to know. <laughs> I'm glad you feel that way. Um I guess we'll recruit oh well there's no point because our province is already being you know recruited by the Wode warriors. Oh, speaking Ready of for battle. Um, I forgot, I there's already been a suggestion for a, uh, legion name. 
That was the Berserkers. So there we go. Berserkers will be our first um, Legion in this game. Anything else we could do? Ooh, emblem. Well, it looks very berserky like. A wheel! That Nothing says berserking like a wheel. I guess just use that. Sure. Alright, not much else to really do, so we will end the turn. Next turn, I think we're going to start our um, the Asini expansion by conquering the Brigantes. Look how fast that is! Oh, oh my god. The sword He's was shooting. drawn, but now it's bloodied. In this feud, we offer peace today, or the sword tomorrow. No, because I'm going to kill you very soon. But look at that, if you go back to like my first video for Sparta, or well, actually like any this first of the good. 40 videos. You have done well to recruit. Shh, um, you'll see how long it took to go through a turn. Wow. Wow, I can't believe how fast that was. That's a flippin' amazing. It used to take like three minutes, even at the beginning of the game. War declared. I do know them. But, um, I don't think I'm really going to get involved in that. Quartermaster report. There's our new recruits. For the tribe! So let's have our scouts. Um, let's try an assassination. Uh, there's really no point though, it's not a high level general. Military sabotage. Let's try poison provisions. Sabotaging. Good. You show nice. wisdom in using agents to achieve Very good. Your <laughs> agent has Oh, she just doesn't stop, does she? Yeah. Alright, so we have poison poison them, which will lead them, um, or leave them weaker for our army. Uh, what do we want here? Let's do spy. Good. The agent. Actually, can I turn it off? Options. Game settings. Campaign advice. None. Yeah. Alright, let's go kill the Brigantes. Yeah, let's declare war. Use these uh, mercenary spear for him. Ooh. I guess we're outnumbered. But I believe in us, so let us assault anyway. this was not a bad idea. It would suck for our first battle to be in um, a loss. Let's wait. 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 Nice. I want to use our slingers. Slingers! <laughs> nice. You have our spears! Cavalry counter tactics. Improves unit ability to endure enemy charges. Okay. Freeman! Spear band! Alright, so that's the mercenaries. Levy Freeman! <laughs> uh, shield screen. Bonus versus cavalry, bracing, melee defense, and shield strength. Can't move. Interesting. Rawr! Frenzy charge. Charge speed, charge damage, acceleration. Okay. Levy Freeman! Orders! Um, let's have the mercenaries. Are yours. Oops. Levy Freeman! Spear band! Let's do this. Levy Freeman! <laughs> Freeman! Yes, I get it, you're Freeman. Spears ready! Dr. Freeman. Britons! Let's just go behind. Alright, let's uh, group them together. Man, these guys love to talk. Alright, start battle. We'll move up. Alright, there's the enemy. Levy Freeman, farmers, farmers, slingers. 
More slingers. Ooh. If we could kill them and route them very quickly, that would be great. Heroic riders! Slingers! I would like to actually draw them out this way. So I can use our horse to trample through them. Quick reload. Get our cav ready. Alright, there we go. Slingers are letting loose. Hell yeah, kill those flippin' freemen. The free man. Oh, they're returning fire. But the thing is, I think we have the advantage since we are, you know, partially in tree cover. I'm waiting for them to respond before I rush in. Right now, I am content with um, letting loose with our slinger. See, yeah, since we're partially in the tree cover, we've only taken one death. So we definitely have the advantage we in this range fight. And those slingers are almost gone. Farmers, I imagine, are pretty easy, so I don't want to waste my weapons on them. So let's actually advance a little bit more. Keep our melee troops behind. Some movement over there. Let's hit the levy freemen. Well, actually, no, let's change it to Slingers. Reload Quick reload. Now. All right, we're pretty sure we should win this fight again. We've still only lost one Slinger. And we are giving it to them pretty hard right there. <laughs> oh, that could be taken out of context. The hardest of slingers. Yeah, we're decimating them. How much ammo do we have left? Excellent. We're just gonna keep weakening them, weakening them with our slingers. I'll have our cab deal with the other two slinger groups, while our um, skirmishers here will take care of their heavier infantry, which is gonna be the levies, not the farmers. I don't care about the farmers. Let's hit the Levy Freeman. Slinkers! Reposition over here, just to have a better angle. Do a quick reload. Alright, let's halt right there. So I'm definitely gonna have to use different tactics than what we did with Sparta. I don't think a whole army of spearmen is going to accomplish much when it comes to the Iceni. And I'm also pretty excited because I think the Iceni have sword units, which Sparta does not have any, I don't think. All right, the Libby Freemen are now routing. Everybody else are farmers, so let's hit the farmers. I'm kind of, I guess the AI is programmed not to leave the town. Instead, they just are programmed to take all the Range damage like this, I guess like champs. All right, let's let's get ready to charge them. You have our spears. I'll move a Levy Freeman up behind to support. Actually, let's have two Levy Freeman go down here. Ah, there we go. That got their attention. All right, let's charge. We'll move these Levy Freeman up in position. We will move these guys up. Frenzy charge. Oh yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Keep the charge going. And we will surround the rest of their melee troops. They have farmers. All right, that's nothing. Heroic riders. The battle is turning in our favor. All right, we have right at their slinger group. Let's go into a shield screen. 
Levy. I hope I hit that in time. Levy Freeman. Heroic riders. Yep. All right. So their slingers are gone. We'll kill them all. Let's charge in our melee. Let's put another group over here. Charge them. Ooh, nice javelin throws. Let's charge those um, farmers. Have the slingers target these horse. All right, those guys are wavering. Their heroic course is wavering. The enemy general is dead. Nice. Let's keep charging. I think that's it, right? There we go. Woo. Lost 68. That's awesome. I guess as soon as we won the skirmishing fight, the AI was just... They were shut down. They couldn't do anything there. They're programmed not to leave the town, it seems like. So we can just rain Your death. First battle. Your... Yep. Alright, occupy. Nice. You have further Good. Your general has increased in rank and will now fight better. Goodbye, Brigantes. Hail to the mother. You know, it's kind of funny because I think in my Sparta campaign, which is, if you haven't watched it, it's on like episode 70, I think now. Um, I think the Brigantes are still around. So the Iceni must not have been doing anything the entire game. Alright, so that's now a negative because we have conquered this um, settlement, but that should settle down after next turn. Let us... We only have four food to spare. So I think we should change this into an enclosed land. Get some more food going. That will grant us two so we can afford to upgrade to a barbarian village. Alright, so the Brigante, Brigantes are gone. I, the knife in the dark. I like this guy. I, would walk I think this is going to be our next target since we are already at war with them. Probably going to be the Berserkers who will deal that blow. Let's go back to Diplomacy, talk to the... Do um doom no no <laughs> doom no ni nie doom no nie. Welcome, worthy friend. No, okay. Now the thing is, it says they're unreliable, so I may just want to kill them as well and take over the whole of um Britain, and not have any allies here. Maybe we'll look for allies in the mainland, but probably not. All right, anything else to do on this turn? For the tribe. We could recruit some units. So let's recruit some freemen. That reminds me. Let's actually disband our mercenaries. I don't want to pay for them. We have no household items yet. What do you do? 9 is 20% public order penalties due to presence of foreign culture. Okay. Let's give you an authority. Very good. Shh. George. And in the turn. Now I know this isn't true, Good work. but People thank you for this new I almost swear that I saw a faction called the Gangsters. I know that can't be true. There's no possible way there was a faction back in the day called the Gangsters. I'm, I'm sure I misread it. It does go by pretty fast. Okay, Artisan's Lodge is up. Alright, our public order is back to okay because the shock of the settlement being taken over is now over. All right, what do we want to upgrade this to? Bryn Distillery. Wealth from livestock buildings, 100 wealth from local commerce. Okay, so this is the workshop tree as well. Okay. Do we want level 1 weapons? 
or increased experience level for some units. Plus 5% melee infantry, melee attack upon recruitment, and wealth. But that's higher wealth and actual weapons. Oh, but I should look at the recruitment. So that's the spear band and sword band. That is the ballista. Okay, so I think we're going to go with the bronze workshop to get that sword band and spear band. I'm sure those are a lot better than the spear levies that we currently have. Um, what's our military presence here? Seven. Okay, so we're going to have to kind of hold hold steady for now until the province the balances out. In the meantime, we're going to scout our next target. Um... Alright, so they do have a legion of three levy freemen, plus the garrison, which is probably going to be similar to the last settlement, which was, what, two Britain slingers and some farmers, I think? I think that was it. So that shouldn't be too hard to take over. Alright, technology. Ammunition for all missile units. I think that's going to be what I'm going to go for. I'm probably going to use the missile units a lot more than I did with the Spartans. Yep, I'm going to do that. Improved ch Plus it's minus 4% recruitment cost for chariot units, which... Chariots? What? I never even knew the Britons had chariots. Um, so let's, let's do that. Though I did hear watching one of um, the uh, Heir of Carthage videos. In his video he said that the chariots are currently broken. So I hope those get patched because I would like to use them. Um, anything else to do? We, they need to sit tight. We have a lot of money, but nothing to spend it on, right? I don't think so. So I think we'll end the turn. And after this, actually, I think we're going to end the video here, too. Um, so thanks for watching the first video of our Iceni campaign. I'm looking forward to seeing this campaign out. I think the Iceni are going to be a fun faction to play with. I know they have a unit that um, has the ambush trait, which means you can deploy them anywhere on the map, and I really want to take advantage of them. I think there's some cool uh, tactics you can use with those ambushers. So thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you in the next Iceni um, campaign video. Take care.